Okay, we're going to um, use this mode over here for the position mode. Let me get my mouse over here. Here's the position mode. Um, this is working at this particular time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the stop button. And um, I'm going to go through the steps of configuring the movement numbers. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this default reset or default the uh, numbers. Um, also over here on this side, I've got the uh, information um, being displayed and you can shut that off by hitting that I icon there. Um, but anyway, you can see that you can see this uh, little graphics here is spinning around. So it's the motors moving right here and down at the bottom. You can see that the uh, actual position is producing a sinusoidal wave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the stop right there. And um, I'm going to actually clear the position. Okay. And um, I'm going to try to tell the motor to go to position 100,000. When I do that, it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, but what I notice is if you come over here and just change this number, um, then you can see over here, it, it actually allows the, um, the processing peripheral to complete its moves. Um, and then also if you come over here, you can, you can, uh, turn on this alternating button and, um, it's going to cause the motor to oscillate back and forth. But what I found out is if, um, if you're doing something and it doesn't move the motor, like if you hit the stop and you come back and issue that command and it doesn't move, just come over to the screen here and change the, the uh, number by one in either direction. Um, and that should get it to start moving again. And as we can see, there's information over here that's being updated um, to the uh, uh, for this trapezoidal control here. Um, what else? And then you can also see the uh, positioning is oscillating back and forth. Um, so that's interesting, and it's moving by this uh, 51,200 um, step size. If I hit stop, uh, we can see that the uh, position is 74,000 something. And then if I set it to go to position 100,000, once again, I'll come over here and change the value and then get it to move to 100,000. Um, at that point, I can then turn the oscillator back on mode, and that seems to be working again. And then uh, this is uh, kind of what it's doing. So it is definitely oscillating back and forth. So hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.